All right, so hello and welcome. I asked ChatGPT to visualize some stuff for me and the results are impressive, if not frightening. So let me share what I did, what I got, and also how you can save yourself a huge amount of time. What you are seeing here is a fully interactive candlestick chart with support and resistances. So as you see, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can cover certain time periods and so on. So extremely powerful. The insane thing about this is, this was created in not even five minutes. Of course, I'm an experienced user, but I didn't really provide brain power, I just copy pasted. I will guide you through the ChatGPT conversation in some minutes. Even though I made quite a critical video on ChatGPT, I am convinced it makes learning data visualization with Python and related libraries absolutely redundant. I personally was never really interested in doing fancy visualizations with Python because in reality you have a front end, e.g. Tableau, Power BI, Streamlit or whatever they are called. And you're just wrangling with the data in the background, set up the logic and so on. So it is actually prepared to be visualized in a meaningful manner. My laziness in getting deeper into data visualization with Python absolutely paid off. Because today I'm convinced investing time into understanding visualization with Python libraries is a waste of time and you are better off investing your time in other topics. Good for me and also good for you because this will save your time going forward. When I or rather ChatGPT did this chart, the most mind blowing thing to me was the transition to another visualization library. So first it was done with some finance data library, but then I asked to transform this into Plotly code, which you're seeing here. This is a popular data visualization library. So let's get started and let me guide you through the uncensored conversation with chat GPT. As you see, initially I just asked to set up a script plotting an open high low close chart. I also added that I want to pull the data using the Y Finance library. Then it provided me a script and some explanation. So let's move over how this was looking like. So initially this was looking like this. Let me zoom a bit out here. This was the first plot from ChatGPT. After that, I asked to add support and resistance lines to this chart, but just using Bollinger Bands to keep the logic simple and focus on visualization. So I was given a script and the output was looking like this and I will show you the chart resulting. So this was the chart when I hammer in this code. And finally, I was asking to transform this script to the Plotly library or to using the Plotly library. And I was given this script here, ending up with the interactive chart you saw in the beginning. So this wonderful interactive visualization. So what are your thoughts on this? Thanks a lot for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.